here we go again folks it's been a long day but it's the evening time it's about 6 30 p.m here in atlantic canada and it's time to get modeling first of all though i'll say that my daughter lily here woke up very very early uh, this morning and then a few hours later she had the nerve to start yawning i was the one that was tired but anyways, um, the other day, yesterday actually, yesterday night, I modeled uh, this kitchen chair. I called it an old wooden <laughs> kitchen chair. Doesn't look that, that old. I don't know if it looks like wood either, but I modeled this. And I'm going to continue uh, with modeling uh, the table, all right? And then I'll put some chairs around. I'll make a little scene. Um, I'm providing this image here, this table diagram. Um, there's nothing special at all about it, but this is roughly what the leg looks like. And I'll uh, model the leg and the table and some supports and we'll put the legs under the table and stuff like that. Um, nothing is necessarily uh, to scale, um, especially the table with respect to the leg, but it's just to, to give the, the rough idea of this so if you wanted to download it and follow along with me you could do that all right so um, this is the chair that I modeled um, and I will say that it's very high poly for one chair and uh, I was thinking about whether or not I could get away with a lower subdivision surface and how much that would reduce my poly count um, most of the polys are going to be in these types of structures uh, because of the way that i i modeled them and i'm going to do the same technique by the way so i just wanted to see if i took this down to one if it would still look acceptable and that was down to one yeah i don't know about that one what about if these were down to one All right, let's see, how about the legs? You know, they don't look bad. How far down do I get? Under 100,000 there. That one, that one. You know, in the end, it doesn't look that much different. What about the seat? You know, for the kind of work I am doing, well, you know what? We can keep it like that for the time being. I've gone, I'm, I'm, I'm almost half what I was before. Um, we'll see. Um, on the second layer, I've got some lights and camera and stuff like that and a bit of a, an environment so that I could I could do this look through the camera to a shift set um, you know to give a I just wanted to get a rough idea of what it would be like in a room um, so yeah um, chairs on the first layer the camera and stuff's on the second and I think I'm gonna to go to the third layer and I'm gonna just start building so I'm gonna um, let's do the table first let's look in top view my numpad is on by the way and I'm in cycles render um, not that I intend to do much with with nodes or anything um, but anyways I'm gonna hit N and open background images here and click add image and I'm going to switch this. No, I may not switch it right now. I'm just going to hit open. And I'm going to find the uh, diagram that I'm providing for you. I believe it's in here. Share kitchen table diagram. Let's have a look at that. All right, so there it is. Comes in like that. 3D cursor right at the center of my stage there. I may mess around with moving stuff. Let's do that. Um, let's go over to here and get this roughly centered up. All right, 
close enough for that. And then we'll move this like, like that. We can, we can touch this up in a bit if we need to. Okay, so there are going to be end guns in this. At least in the table. And I don't care. I'm not worried about that. I'm not animating this. Uh, it's going to look just fine. Okay, so I'm going to uh, use a plane, Shift A, bring in a plane, go into edit mode. I'm going to scale this globally like that. And I will now move the background image a little bit more. Uh, okay, so what am I doing? I'm go like that. No. 1.8. I think that's close enough. I'm going to wireframe. I'm going to scale this in the X to there. I'll scale it in the Y to there. Okay, cool. So uh, the first thing we'll do is we want to make those rounded edges, uh, but I'm going to give the table some thickness, and I'm just going to do this uh, by, by eye. I'm going to extrude, I'm going to pull it up like that. I'll go out of wireframe. Okay, make sure all my polys are facing the right way. If you're not sure, you know, for example, had I had I extruded uh, downwards, see that discoloration there? All right, it wouldn't matter. I could just select it all, go Control N, just to recalculate the polys outside. Okay, next I'm going to switch to edge selection. I'm going to select all these vertical edges here, and I am going to. Well, we can look at the diagram in wireframe. I'm going to go Control B to bevel, and I'm going to pull, and I'm going to get that effect, and then I'm going to roll my mouse up so I get a nice curve make it look some, something like the table. And this is where the end guns are going to come in, um, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to select this top face, and at this point, I, I, don't, really, I don't really need the diagram. Uh, this line isn't necessarily to represent where I'm going to inset to, which is what I'm about to do, but I could try it. I to inset, let's pull in. If I come to there, am I even on the on both sides, in, in this, in the X and in the Y, that's pretty good. And so I'll go out a wireframe, and what I'll do is I'll switch to edge, and I'm gonna shift alt and click here on this edge, and that's gonna select the edge all the way around, and then I'm just gonna pull it down like this. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is with that edge still selected, I'm gonna bevel it, I'm gonna go Control B, I'm gonna pull until I get an area, something like that, I'm gonna roll my mouse up three or four times. All right, I'm also going to do a similar thing with the bottom. I'm going to select the bottom, and I'm going to go Control B. I'm going to bevel this a little bit as well, just like that. One, maybe two, so that it's not a super sharp edge at the bottom. You'll see when I, I'm going to put a subdivision surface on. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this face, and then I'm going to extrude it up a little bit. So I'll go into front view just so I can see uh, from here. I'm going to go. E to extrude and accept. I'm going to pull it up just a small amount like that. All right. Um, I think I'll need to bevel this back, so I'm going to go Control B and I'm going to pull like this or so. I'll put just one segment in, and we'll go ahead and we'll try a subdivision surface on that, and then we'll have some cleaning up to do. All right, subdivision surface. I will go for two. All right, and I'll hit smoothing as well. And you can see what we get. So let's do a bit of work on this. Let's uh, try an edge loop right here. And I want it too sharp, but I just want to tighten it up. We'll do that. And I got a lot going on down here as it is. One thing I will do is I'm going to select this top. Well, let's have a look first. Sometimes when you do this, you'll get some pinching in here. Uh, it doesn't look too, too bad. Well, there, you see this? See this white stuff, sort of wavy stuff? So I'm going to try just to select that face and hit I to inset and just accept the default values and accept. And let's see if that has, that has cleared that up. And it made it a little bit sharper too. I'll get a similar effect on the bottom. You see that? The bottom is not really going to be seen, but I'm going to do it anyhow. I to inset and come back out, and that actually sharpens that edge, but it's not super sharp, it's still a bit rounded. And that is what I wanted to do for the table. Cool, 
All right, I'm not going to worry about that dividing line there where you could make the table bigger. I'm just going to make sure that this table is in the center. So I'm going to uh, set the uh, origin of 3D cursor and geometry to origin. And it's all centered up and we're ready to go. Okay. All right. So um, if I hit that, I can see my table there. And it's time now to build this leg. And I think the way I'm going to do this is, uh, yeah, maybe I will move things around. I'm gonna, all right, I'm gonna move the table to another layer and I'm going to manipulate my diagram. Let's rotate this uh, 90. Yeah, let's move it so that the table leg is uh, centered up. All right, 173. Uh, let's go for 178. A little bit more. There we go. That's close enough. Cool. All right, save. And here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring in a plane like I did in my last video. All right. Vertex selection. Vertex all selected. Alt M, merge at center, and bring this point uh, up to the top. All right, I'm going to hide my gizmo or transform tool, and I'm going to go uh, E, G, X, right up in there, G, X, move that guy out to there. Okay, and then we're going to go E, G, Z, and come down to about there. And of course, this uses a lot of poly, so E and G, E and G, and I'm just going to roughly follow the outline here. Just hitting E and G and moving the points. That's the way I like to do it. Uh, I'm going to come in and then I'm going to come back out so that we see a little bit of a groove. E and G, I'll come right back down here. E and G. And then I'll come out. And go Z. Bring her down, GZ. I'll come down to here. E and G, repeating. I'm doing the profile or one side of this. And then we use the screw modifier to uh, lathe the thing, I guess. And uh, add a subdivision surface so it's nice and smooth. And our poly count goes through the roof. Consider we gotta do four of these legs, right? All right, what are we doing here? Coming up to there, and then we're coming down, right? So E, G, Z, come on down to there. Let's go right to there. E and G again. And it doesn't have to look exactly like the diagram. This is our own table legs. And so we're just gonna have some fun with this. Not that. Oh, I already got one, eh? All right, let's fix that guy up. Just pull it. E and G. And to there. E, G, Z. Come on down. We're at the, the bottom here. And I'm doing it all as one piece, uh, obviously. So, uh, yeah, let's just do it. Let's just come straight down. I don't need to curve this. Let's pull that out. Well, let's, let's grab both of these points and go... Uh, SX0, scale X0. All right. Well, I might curve this part just because it's a little easier. And then let's go uh, G and X. I just want to bring the point back to the axis, which is right in the middle here. Okay, so with that point selected, and I'll come up to the top and shift and click that point. I'm going to hit N. And I come up to the very top, and you can see the X is a little off. I'm going to click that and Type in zero, so they're both exactly zeroed. Deselect, go back into object mode, and end to close that. And there's the profile of my leg. So let's go to add modifier, screw modifier, switch this to from the z-axis to the y-axis, 
and then add a subdivision surface. And then it's just a question of do I do two or do I do one? Two looks better. Uh, we'll stick with one for the moment. And up here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into edit mode because this is gonna connect to the table. I'm actually going to delete that vertex and then I'll straighten that out. And then we'll just have a look at this. Yeah, it really does look better with two. Anyhow, it tightens it up. Uh, I, I'll come in here. Oh, I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna apply the screw modifier. Then I can come in here, and you see this area is kind of nondescript. Uh, I'm gonna add a few edge loops. I'm gonna do one here, and I'm gonna do one up here, and that'll just tighten things up. Um, I could do one right here, Control R, and just pull it down. I, just, I don't want it too tight, but it'll just look a little bit better. And I don't need these to be super, super sharp. I just want to look at this here. You know, I think maybe, however, I think I'll click on that with the transform tool, and I think I will push that one down to make that a little tighter. Um, this area here, I suppose, if you, you know, I just do that and that. You know, this is this detail is not going to be seen. You know, and just adding vert vertices to my model. But uh, this area, I'll put one up here. Okay, just for support. All right, so that's what I got, and I'm on two, right? All right, that's that's great. That's great. Um, let's uh, keep that, and we'll move that to that same layer with the table. And you can see I'll need to do some adjusting, uh, but I'll, I'm also going to want to compare it with the chair. All right, so we're going to deal with all that stuff uh, in a while. My third layer is still free. Let's have a look at one. Uh, I'm going to do this in the same orientation here, but I don't need to move the diagram for this part. Um, these pieces will go under the table. There'll be one coming out this way and one going that way, and the leg will be in between. So you'll see. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click there, and then I'm going to go Shift A uh, and add a plane, rotate X90, and that'll bring it pretty pretty close. Uh, edit mode and wireframe, and I'm just basically going to be box selecting these and moving them in like this. Okay. So I'll do this kind of thing. And again, the sizes of all these things may need to, may have to be adjusted. Let's put an edge loop here and let's just throw in a few edge loops like that. And then we'll just, um, we'll just start pulling ver vertices around. All right, like this. And we'll approximate that curve. Nah, maybe I'll have one more here. That might be a little sharp there. But uh, okay, all quads for the moment. Uh, let's get out of uh, wireframe and just give it some thickness. Uh, I don't know how much exactly, but we'll, we'll go with that much. Okay, so there's my, my piece. And then what we'll do is uh, I'll throw in some edge loops. I'll do two like that and I'll scale in the Y just to, to separate them like that. And uh, what can I do here? I'll put one up here and I'll put one here and I'll put one here. And let's, uh, sh uh, what am I doing? Um, Shift S, cursor to selected. Oh, I did that A. Whatever. Do origin to geometry or geometry to origin? That doesn't matter. Okay, so that should be in focus. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add a subdivision surface and see how she she starts smoothing out. Okay, that's I, again these are gonna be under the table and I don't even know if anyone's gonna see this stuff, but I'll put another uh, edge loop here to just tighten that up. And I'll put one more here, which you might think is not useful. Well, actually, I think I need one here. Let's see if that's too sharp. Um, let's move it out and keep that curved a bit more. That's what I'm going to go for. All right. All right. Uh, and yeah, I got some here. Maybe these can go out, though. 
scale on the line, make it a bit sharper. It's fine. It's good. It's good enough. Okay. So those are all the pieces that I need for the time being. I'm bringing that down to one. Uh, all right. I don't need a lot. And again, I don't know that anyone's going to see this, but I just want it to be there. All right. Now, how to put this all together? Um, what I think I'll do is maybe I will bring the table into the first layer with the chair so that we can start getting a sense of proportion for that. I'm going to select it all in wireframe. I'll go to seven and I'm just going to hit S to scale. I'm going to start doing this kind of thing. And I got all these separate pieces, eh? get it all. Oh, it's the seat. Oh, the seat's embedded. Okay. All right, I'll get all the chair pieces. Well, that was a mirror, so I got that, and that, and that. Three to look from the side, and I'm just gonna move the chair back as if we're sitting at the table, and I missed, I missed something. What did I miss? That. All right, let's try again. All right, I got everything. All right, we're sitting at the table. And that looks decent, I guess. I just wonder if it needs to be wider. Like scale it in the Y. It's a little bit more like that. Okay. Let's, uh, let's start building it then. Uh, so I think I'm gonna move it back to that fourth area there where I've got that. There's another piece. Oh, I guess I got it there, right? Let's move that to here as well. Okay, let's move this down. And all right, let's move this guy down. Control 7 to look from the bottom. I'll just press G. Now, how are these going to go? Let's uh, shift D. Rotate Z 90. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, G. Um, and the table leg. I want to think about whether or not. All right. Normally, these things are um, squares, not a cylinder. How would it be if I break from this? You see, in this diagram, you can't tell if it's a cylinder, but because of the way I did this and lathed it, it becomes a cylinder. And I just realized that now. And I'm thinking about copying this over. So I have a spare. Going into edit mode, selecting those, this row of vertices, control plus and that row of vertices, and control plus one more row of vertices, X vertices. Selecting this row, shift S, bring the cursor to there. And I can do this in the same, um, it's not going to fit exactly the same, but bringing in a cube. Uh, okay, it'll have a subdivision surface on it. Okay, so I won't do it there, I'll just do it here. Scaling it down. And then up. We'll just see how this looks. Yeah, oops, that. Shift S, cursor selected. Origin of geometry. Control A, rotation and scale. Can't say I did anything. Let's try bevel. F2, bring it down. 
put smoothing on. Yeah, that didn't do anything. All right, I can do it this way. Side. I mean, I can, I can work on that. I can do that. Uh, my point is that it's. Uh, I had it smaller. What are you doing? Shift as cursor selected. I had it smaller than the uh, than that. That's okay. Did I? I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not going to do it that way. I have a bit bigger. Maybe it has to be even bigger, I don't know. What's that? Alright, let's do this. Let's hide that. Let's take this. Bring this in. And then this piece goes in the middle here. That's why I was having trouble lining it up. And that piece goes in the middle. That's not necessarily the final positions. You think maybe if I just make this shorter, scale that in the Z, pop that up there, and take this. I'm not saying that's the final size, although I think maybe it might be okay. I think I'm going to do it this way. So, what I think I'll do is bring that back down to two. Because I think I'm going to apply that bevel. And I'm going to take these two and I'm going to join them. Then I'll put the, the, probably put the subdivision surface on this as well. So I'm just gonna put an edge loop in like that. Nah. I think I'm gonna stick with that. Yeah, you know, you make changes here and there. And then it's just a question of do I like the size? So let's uh, shift S cursor to select it and focus in on that. Okay, uh, let's bring the chair back. So if I wanted it at the same height as the chair, then I don't need it quite as, as thick. I could first of all I could scale globally like that a bit. And then we're in front ortho, right? I can move that up. I can also put that on. sense of, of whether or not it touches the ground or touches the ground like that okay that's what I'll do so I'll go back into edit mode select this top face and control plus a couple times so I get enough edge loops in there and then I'm just gonna pull it down into there if I was really smart, I suppose I would even delete those faces just to reduce it a little bit. And then I would have that. So let's go back to just this layer and double check this stuff. You see now this doesn't fit. It would be got to go something like that. Uh, let's just look from the side and we'll go in wireframe. Is that where that one is? You know, I could do that and then this, which might be good too, just just touching that. That may be the way to do it anyhow. I just want to see um, if I... Yeah, there's enough room for sure. Cool, okay, let's... Let's hide that leg. Let's, Let's do that and then hide it. All 
I think I'm going to do that, and then I think I'm going to commit to it after I delete the top faces, or some top faces, anyhow. Even these top center ones, come if I do control plus, and nah, we'll be you know that even. Doesn't affect the overall. Ooh, so this can be hit by the table. Let's do the same thing on the other one. Thing. Let's see. Is that, yeah, that's what I got there. I got rid of a little bit. Alt H to bring the table back. Doesn't change anything. So we got that. And want me to get rid of these at the bottom here? It's a lot of faces. Let's sharpen it up too. A little bit. It doesn't matter. Start putting an edge loop, so let's leave it like that, and that's one, right? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking I think I'm gonna delete that, so I've deviated from my diagram a bit. I'm gonna take this and this, so where I've got subdivision surface, let's just apply it, and uh, this one, and control J. All right, let's select the table, shift S, cursor to select it, mirror this across the table, so select the leg, mirror with respect to the table. So we got that. And let's see if we can do it in the Y as well. And that's what we get because it's not a, uh, it's a rectangular table. These pieces are closer on that end than on that end. Now let's, let's see if we can bring back a chair. And the chair goes under just fine. Okay, cool, so let's do that. Let's um, leave the table on that side and let's take the chair and select all of the chair and with the table uh, in view, um, let's just um, shift D, rotate Z 180 and pull it back. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't an equal. Well, they don't have to be the exact same position. In fact, I'm going to rotate Z and rotate this one a little bit. Let's have a look at that. There's two chairs. My polys are getting up. Okay, so let's take this one again. We'll select all the parts of this. I haven't applied too much stuff yet. Let's see if I get the whole thing this time. Yeah, I got the whole thing. Cool. Top view. Uh, I'm going to go Shift D, rotate Z 90, and we'll position this chair and just make sure that it looks like it works. Mm -hmm. It does. Pull that one in. And yeah, the polys are going up. Do I, uh, but I, I got to. Let's do another one. Shift D, rotate Z 180. We'll go to all the parts. And put that one there. Like that. What we'll do for the moment is I'll hit the plus to make a copy of this and I'll just switch this to another color. Well, and I'll have to do that in snipe viewport, I'll just do that. Let's 
take this and move it back to the first layer. No, not that layer. There we go. <laughs> move it to the first layer. Let's get out of camera view. So let's go Shift C, bring the 3D cursor right back to there and save. And let's add my scene and look through the camera. And let's just see. This would look like Shift Z. Here's what I have so far, but uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to thin out the table. <laughs> it looks far too thick. And maybe I'll get rid of one of these chairs. You know, maybe even this chair or this one. I'm not sure. Well, let's see uh, what we can do about this. If we can do it in this uh, shift S cursor to select it, let's just go back to uh, solid and uh, I'm gonna go into edit mode. Yeah, we can, we should be able to do this. Let's scale this in the Z and make it uh, somewhat thinner. Look from the front, and I think I'm gonna scale it even a bit more. And then we'll just make sure that we touch down okay. Nothing's poking through. All right, that's that's better. Pretty thick legs. Now, what to do? What should we get rid of? Any thoughts? I'm thinking this chair here. Well, it shows the back room. Yeah, maybe let's let's do that. Let's get rid of this. Okay, let's get out of camera view. And uh, let me just double check my modifiers. And uh, I can apply that mirror. Yeah, it's one. Uh, and this, two. Doesn't make much of a difference. Let's leave it at one for now. And everything else is at one. All right, this is, that's two. If I just come in here. That one's one. That's gonna be fine. Check these ones, eh? There are two as well. Yeah. Let's make sure. One, one, that's two. Bring that, and no, I'll leave that at two. I don't want to mess with that. Does it really matter, I suppose? I'm just rendering at this point. Uh, well, these ones mirrored and I already did that. That's no, all right, doesn't matter. And those are one as well. Okay, let's, uh, let's have another look at this with, uh, with that. Maybe there. Okay. One thing I one thing I was thinking of is uh, I would try to just make sure I don't have any doubles. Nine. Okay. And what about this guy? Nothing. Here. Nine. 
I don't think that had anything. It was mostly the legs and the arms. Housekeeping. Did I do this on the other chair? Did I do all the legs? I don't remember if I did the back legs on this. No, I didn't. Alright, anyhow. Cool. Alright, there's that. And, um... Sure, look at that table. This one even needs to come down. No, I think it's okay. I think it's okay like that. We get a sense of that. Don't really see the other one though, do we? Would it be worth no, it'd be worth doing that or that. Okay, let's uh, let's render it again. Well, this is what I've come up with in my render, and I think the table looks better, and the chairs look just fine uh, with that lower subdivision surface, and uh, yeah, so one thing I didn't do is I didn't angle the, the legs of the table out, but I, I like them. I like them like that. Uh, sorry about the, um, the redesign there, putting the square there on top of that just something that uh, that happened along the way um, but anyways yeah that was fun we'll see maybe I'll add a few more items on top or some stuff in the background I'm not sure but uh, I just wanted to get some practice uh, because I had been looking at my table and chairs and they look a lot like this and uh, I wanted to do it for fun so thanks a lot for watching and see you again soon